guys welcome back to my channel long time no see i promised this video like a month ago and then school started and i got busy but i still wanted to post it so this is everything i am bringing with me to school or brought with me to school um so i'm gonna get right on into this and we're gonna start off with everything i brought so i have a kitchen bathroom bedroom etc so the first thing in this list is going to be the kitchen. So we're going to start off with the kitchen and there's a train passing by. But first off I have coffee because I'm a coffee addict. And then we have the coffee mugs. And then you got glassware. And then you got of course your mason jars because I'm basic. And then after that, I also have glass containers where I store, like, loose items, of course. And then we have our bowls and plates. I also brought a Lazy Susan, but I ended up using it in my bedroom and not the kitchen. But I did bring a Lazy Susan with me. You have your strainer, of course, because you gotta strain that delicious pasta out. Duh. Um, and then after that, we have utensils, so things like spatulas, clips, other random assortments of things that you would need for the kitchen, pot holders, all that fun stuff. So other things you might need is like pots, pans, blenders, coffee maker, all those other things that are very useful in the kitchen, of course. Um, obviously, everybody has a different diet so what I bring might not be what you bring so some tips I have for the kitchen portion of this first and foremost is gonna be to put any like loose items in your glass jars if you're doing the glass jar trick like I am so I put like my pasta in glass jars and rice and oatmeal and anything like that before I moved that way I didn't have extra boxes moving with me next um, make sure you wrap all your glassware as well because you don't want any of that to break while you are traveling to campus so that is super important and then after that, make sure you bring some coffee coasters or cup coasters so you don't ruin your tables. Alright, so we're moving on to the bedroom. The main event. So we have an apartment style um, dorm, by the way. I should have mentioned that earlier, but we do have an apartment style. So things you'll need is like comforter, bed sheets, you know, most of those basic things that you need, your pillows, blankets, all that fun stuff. And then it comes to the fun things like your printer or your TV that you bought and your fire stick so you can have Amazon and Netflix. And of course, your backpack because you're in school. Of course, you need your backpack for school. Duh. And then after that, obviously, there's things like my shoe rack and then hangers and any other assortment of things like hampers and towels and all that fun stuff. Towels is more in the bathroom, but there is a good assortment of things that you would need for your bedroom. Um, along with this, um, one of the tips I have, instead of bringing a giant suitcase, I actually use storage plastic bags. So there's those like big like Ziploc type of bags where you vacuum them and then they suck all the air out of it. It does save space. I recommend getting the smaller ones and not these giant ones because they're a little hard to maneuver otherwise. Alright, next we have the bathroom. Fun part. Um, so in the bathroom, you'll probably need pretty basic stuff. Some of the stuff you guys would probably know. So things like, you know, your bath mat, your bath curtain, um, definitely things if you are a girl, your feminine hygiene products are super important to bring because obviously that comes every month, so you need it. Um, definitely make sure you bring like toothpaste, toothbrush, baby wipes, which is more like feminine hygiene care, all your soaps, all your hair products that you would need. Um, 
any other utensils you would need. First aid kits. Oh my gosh, first aid kits are definitely very important. I had a friend who didn't have a first aid kit and if I, if I like scratch myself at their apartment, didn't have it. Vitamins and pills, you gotta bring those because those are also very important to the bathroom. Um, any kind of traveling equipment. I have like a travel bag that I have for when I sleep over at a friend's house so it's just there and ready to go and any body care products. Alright, next we have a product near and dear to my heart, organization. I love organization things, so some of the products I brought with me to organize when I get here are things like my three-tier rack where I keep like my makeup and my jewelry and things like that. Also, I brought a bunch of these little tiny plastic bins, so those are really, really useful for when I'm organizing little things. And then, of course, you have your clothes bins, you have open bins, you have um, wire shelving of all different varieties. They're super useful in different compartments. If you guys want me to show exactly how I use all those, let me know in the comments below. Um, I did bring a shoe holder, but I didn't end up using it. I used a different system. Um, some shelf liners are really helpful so you don't stick any, so your cups don't move. Lint roller. Um, I also brought, like command strips of course because you can't put holes in the wall and then I brought my whiteboard and my cork board to write notes and everything on. Some tips for organization, um, if I can read it, um, is to spray paint like any bins you would have. That way you know like what your bins are or what other people's bins are. That was like my big tip because my bins definitely look every different from everybody else's. So we're moving on to school supplies. I kind of ran over that slide, but that's fine. So my school supplies are very different than everybody else's, so I didn't include a lot of images with this because a lot of my stuff is paints, markers, pens, pencils, erasers, staplers, um, different types of paper because I'm a fine arts major. So obviously my list is going to look very different than maybe a different major. Other people might be like, I have to go buy a bunch of different kind of books. And I'm sitting here like, I have to go buy art supplies, which I honestly never mind going and buying art supplies. Um, I love buying art supplies. It gives me new stuff to play with. So I really don't mind my major at all. And I don't mind going buying stuff for my major most of the time because I get to play with new materials and play with new techniques. So um, yeah, if you want to take a look at my list, obviously it's written down here. So, enjoy! So the last category we have here is other and just like random stuff that you might need if you're in a dorm. I didn't really have a specific category for any of these, so that's why they're in other. So things like my DVD and my DVD player, um, any type of music things, any other like speakers or random things that you may not need on a DVD on a day to day basis. So that will go into like the other quote-unquote category. I don't know why this clip is so long and I just wrote DVDs, but whatever. So, I mean, your laptop is kind of a given, cards, anything of that nature. So, just random stuff that you might need. And this is the finished product. This is everything I brought with me. I brought some other stuff later on, but this was the main thing I brought with me at all times. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.